Respect the experience, yes, but don't worship it. Many near-death experiences occur in contexts where data cannot be collected in real time, making them retrospective reports with no external validation. This creates a feedback loop where the most dramatic stories become cultural lore, while less dramatic ones are forgotten. Understanding what's actually happening during a near-death experience isn't meant to diminish the personal impact of the experience, but mistaking a brain event for divine proof leads us into dangerous epistemological territory. When we stop interrogating experience and start deifying it, we sacrifice inquiry for comfort, and that's the birthplace of superstition. Respect the experience, yes, but don't worship it. What we often see at work here is the role of incredulity, intellectual arrogance, and mental lethargy. It's tempting to treat emotionally powerful experiences, especially near-death experiences, as self-evident proof of something greater. But that temptation reveals more about our mental habits than it does about objective reality. At the heart of this confusion lies three major obstacles, incredulity, intellectual arrogance, and mental lethargy. We are often more persuaded by what feels true than by what actually is true. And that's why the ethical call to think, truly think, matters more now than ever.